All right. Uh, meanwhile, we're following the prospects of a trade deal with China. The latest wrinkle here is that if the president meets with his counterpart in China, Xi Jinping, uh, it's not going to be the end of this month. It might not be the next month. It might not be till June. Charlie Gasparino, what's going on? Well, the political calculus has always been push it out, right? right. Get the deal and get the bang for the buck closer to the 2020 elections, as, as close as you can, right. because the markets are probably going to go up on, <coughs> on some of this. Um, you know, uh, it depends on how big the deal is. If the deal is no, uh, no problem, if the deal is um, marginal, you know, you, you, the conventional wisdom in the markets is that traders and investors tell me it's... What would be marginal? What would be deemed a disappointment? If they don't well, own intellectual a, property... A, yeah, kick them. down the can. Not right. real tangible business opportunities opening up in the U.S. where you can put... Excuse me, in China for U.S. companies where you can put dollars to that. I mean, if it's just like, you know, let's all be friends and move on, um, it's baked in. If it's... By the way, let's all be friends and move on. The kick the can scenario is better than a trade war. You know, that's sure, and sure. so but but that is baked into the market. But if there's something tangible and the Trump people believe they're going to get something tangible, they believe that they could talk up the markets about 2000 points. That's their that's their that's the whisper number inside the White House. Now, whether they can or not, I can't tell you. I'm just telling you what they're telling me. I mean, you know, listen, you know, I, when I tweet this stuff out, I get from people like, you're talking up the markets, you're saying this, you're saying that the market's going to go up. I'm not saying this. This is what they're saying. Right. I'm just reporting to you what they're saying. Believe them. Listen, Trump says it's the greatest economy ever. Is it? I don't know. Well, no. no. <laughs> um, but let me ask you a little bit about worth. that. It's a fine economy. And do you think with the markets and everything else, we could pick it apart, but we blame presidents when it's just the opposite sure. of what's going on now. But that shouldn't he be doing even better in the polls? With yeah, this? I mean, or that's... there's something else that we're missing. Maybe it's the wild card of the Mueller probe, where that goes. Maybe it's all this tweeting and nastiness and the latest of John McCain. What is it? Listen, I personally like Donald Trump. I've known him for a while. Um, the country does not like Donald Trump, or most of the country. He's got his hardcore supporters. Sure, you know, his 40 percent, but 60 percent of the country don't personally like him. They, they find his tweeting, tweets to be obnoxious. You know, you could just go through the whole, I mean, there's, there's In other words, on the this. economy and the markets alone, again, whether you give the president credit, but these are the sort of the standards right. we use, uh, he should be doing a Right. Better. They don't like him because of his personal attributes. Right. Now, the real question is this. Does his personal attributes and his dislikability, so to speak, uh, does that translate into losing the presidency if he runs against Bernie Sanders, if he runs against one of the lunatics that they have, that they have. Who are they up. most worried about at the White House? Well, I'm sure it's Joe Biden. Uh, yeah. A Joe Not Biden. Beto yeah, I, I think I think already you see him talking about Beto O'Rourke's hands, and he's say he knows that the well, guy is. It's a like, sign that maybe he's worried. Yeah, I know. It's usually the sign that he thinks he's easy to beat, and he's a little more worried about Joe because you all you hear him say about Biden is low IQ. You know, he's not making fun of his personal attributes. Uh, Biden... Low no IQ isn't a compliment. You know? No, but it's like, you know, okay, the, the, let's see Donald Trump's transcripts from college. Yeah. We know that Michael Cohen tried to hide him. But I, my, my point is that, you know, he's much nastier on the others than against Biden. So clearly you, you think that he thinks that Biden is a, a more formal candidate. And to be honest with you, if he can get through a Democratic primary... He probably is. He's yeah. probably someone that could be. Whoever survives that, you know, is, yeah. is certainly worth looking at. Thank you, my friend. Okay. Uh, very, very much.